What's up, everyone? It's your boy and your coach, George Calioris. Hitting up these overhead presses with Meg squats in the background. <clears throat> it's my homegirl, Meg. We're at A1 CrossFit up in West Bend, Wisconsin. Strict pressing this weight here. This is 145, if I remember correctly, which I think it was, ended up being a uh, rep PR. 80, no, 125 for eight which is still a rep PR. Never, I can never really get past like six reps for whatever reason. So then I went up to 145, strict pressed for six reps. My pressing has never been that good. My squatting has never been that good. My deadlift is the only thing that keeps me together. And even lately, that's not that good. I don't know what the hell I'm doing as a lifter. I don't even know why I fucking bother lifting anymore. But, it's what we do. It's how we live. It's our passion and it's our life. Life lifting the pursuit of happiness. Yeah. So then I took it out and I did push presses with it. Uh, 165 for some reps and some sets, which is pretty cool. I guess. I don't know. 165 is not that great. Nothing really that great. Nothing I'm doing lately is that great. I'll just preface that right now. The only thing that I'm doing is uh, just putzing around, trying to build some weaknesses, trying not to do the same things over and over again. So hitting up some incline bench works good for the log. Ended up with uh, 165 for a set of eight and a set of nine. Really not keeping track of what I'm doing right now. Uh, because everything's just kind of all over the place. I don't really care what I'm lifting anymore at this point in time because I don't have any contests to prep for. I'm not uh, in competition prep mode. I just don't really give a shit. I just want to get a pump and get some work done. So I'm hitting up a ton of reps and uh, conditioning type stuff. And This was in preparation for the dollars for deadlifts. This is 4.05. I was actually feeling really fucking good on this day. I took my time to warm up. I wasn't really rushing around because I knew I didn't really want to lift a whole lot of weight. And then I went up to 4.05 and I'm like, I'll just fucking see how, do a couple reps. But it's fucking like perfect. Like, back is rigid and straight. Neck is perfect. Pushing the floor away. Everything about that lift was fucking perfect. So I'm like, you know, I feel really good. I'm just going to touch 405 just to kind of prep my nervous system for a Sunday, which was in four, three days. And uh, just, you know, trying to get my body ready for it. Like still pretty fucking perfect. I was like, that felt pretty good. I'll just stop there. I'm like, eh, maybe I'll do another one. See how it feels. So I ended up with 455 for a double on this day with no belt or wraps. Straps, I mean. Which was all right. It worked out. And then I just hit some, some of these deadlift rows and some glued ham developer leg curls. Not too many. I think I only did like two or three sets of ten of each. But if you haven't done glued ham developer leg curls, you know how much those can really beat you up if you're not careful. Then we ended up with some box jumps. Sean was doing some box jumps. I'm like, let's do this. We do seated box jumps, which we haven't done in a while. So we do the rock ones, rock and slam, turning velocity into force at a very fast rate. And then I think we ended up doing some wide stance ones. Yep. So working on screwing the hips out, screwing the knees out, building some hip rotation and uh, lateral force. And on this day, I was bench pressing. Just felt like bench pressing. So I threw the chains on. I wanted to see what that felt like because I haven't done that in a long time and it felt really fucking good. 
And it was nice to not know how much weight I really had on the bar. I was just going to reps. Not quite hitting failure, but coming close to it. Going up in weight every now and then. Every set until I think I went to like 235 or something. Straight weight plus chains. 225 with straight weight plus chains. I don't remember. Yes. I'm just playing around right now. I like the feeling of not having to worry about having to hit a certain weight or anything like that. Feels pretty good. A lot less more, a lot less stress going into the gym. Because if something doesn't feel right, you don't feel obligated to just have to do it anyway. You can just change things up or just not do as much weight or not do as many reps. Just get some, get some work in. I think these chains on the bench press and the overhead press are really helping though. Which, uh... I'd really love to get a fatter pair of chains for the squat and the deadlift and actually start using those and conjugating style again because I really do enjoy the conjugate method. I like not having an idea of what I need to go in and fucking do but just to set something up and then just to hammer it. And then with these close grip benches I was super setting them with banded pull ups. So I had my foot in a band and it was kind of assisting me but I was really working on pulling the bar as low down my chest as I could really getting my lower lats involved my elbows tucked about way behind me my hand, my wrists like over the bar which you'll see in just a second here so you can see I'm keeping my wrist kind of over the bar I'm pulling that bar down, I'm really squeezing my shoulder blades together. Stretching at the bottom. Squeezing the bar. Pulling the shoulder blades, squeezing the shoulder blades together. It all felt pretty good. And then on this day, I had the dumbbell out, 105 pounds, I was doing for sets of five, I think. No belt, probably should start wearing a belt on these. My chiropractor's not happy with the, my spine. So I should probably wear a belt on them, but you know. Why would I be smart like that? Not much to say about these, you know. Just trying to get my balance, getting the dumbbell set on the shoulder, and really trying to drive through my feet so I can drive the dumbbell upwards and not have to worry about trying to push press it or anything like that. Just working on catching it at the top. And hopefully making the lift without dying, or dropping it on my head or my toe. There we go. Just when you thought I was done. And here's some more sets.
After all the dumb bell was said and done, I realized it would have like 20 minutes to get some accessories. So, go for it. On the strike press again. Not a whole lot going on here. I think I went up to 145 or something like that. Not even. Yeah. People always want to talk to me. I'm trying to work it out. Just don't. Anyways, on to the squat day. This is 355 on the safety squat bar. I did it for three sets of eight, which is pretty cool. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I got, uh, I don't know. There was nobody in the gym, and I just said, fuck it. I'm going to go for it and see what happens. So I did my three sets of eight, and then I tried front squatting afterwards, and it sucked. And then I did a modified version of DT with 135 for four rounds of 10 instead of the 12, 9, Six. That was pretty cool. Did that. Did the first round in like 56 seconds, and I looked at my buddy Sean. And I'm like, dude, not gonna happen like that again. But you know, it's all the things I'm good at. It was a deadlift and a uh, hang clean and, uh, and a uh, shoulder to overhead. And it was only 60 seconds at 135. So. You know, in Strongman, we work for 60 seconds, and that's what I've been training at. So that first round was super easy, and after that, it was just kind of a slight grind. Ended up with six... Six something. Whatever. I was pretty stoked about these squats, though. I was feeling pretty good. You can see I'm starting to break at the knees first instead of the hips, and that's because if I break at the hips first, the safety squat bar is going to pull me over really hard. I guess it's not too much at the knees, more than the hips, it's probably at the same time. Yeah, it's about the same time, the hips and the knees. But anyways, thanks for watching as always, enjoy the videos, go out and lift something, and be yourself.